All right. Let's show on the road and see how this works. It'll go really well. All right, this is assuming we're live, which I know we are. All right, folks, we are going to be doing a uh, natty state type of thing where we actually have a fat head here. So we're going to have it to where it's all set up just nicely. We're going to actually use our own handwriting to write it in, too. Uh, and then we're going to do our picks for it. So we're actually uh, watching it live as we start, and we already got one that we need to add to the board since we're late. It's the only one we need. And it's Yukon and Stetson. Dude, I brought some extra markers for this, too. So. Ah, good. Okay, so do we want to do blue or green for the ones we're riding in? Because one of them needs to be ones we get right. I think, I think blue... Because then if it's red, it means we got it wrong. And then if okay. it's green, it means we got it right. So, okay. all right. Or so which green one? You have a green one. Okay. Yeah. So which one? Oh, which is it up here? Which East region should be top left, but I don't. I don't even think this is marked, to be honest. Like, this isn't even marked that way. <laughs> well, so. we were hoping it would be a thing where it'd be like, yeah, we could use every year. But this one's got, like, the dates and everything. Yeah. So we're going to have UConn. Woo, that's a Banger of an 8-9 game. And Stetson. And who's the 8-9 one that we can officially ride in? Florida Atlantic. FAU. There you go. And Northwestern. Oh, man. That's a good game. Yeah, Boo Boo against Janelle Davis. Okay. So we got uh, those two Ooh. already set in. Those up in Brooklyn, actually. So a little home action. San Ooh. Diego State as the five seed. I feel like that's like their they common were a five spot. Seed in yeah. their own conference tournament. Their five, five seed. seed. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Wow. Playing against UAB. All right. Red Hot Dragons. The former fighting Mike Anderson's. Andy Candy. Holy shit. Auburn gets a four seed. This, this is a heck of a region. Yeah, wow. SEC champion against the uh, fighting oh, Yale oh, Bulldogs. Oh, oh. That'll be a bow right It's tough for Yale, man. Yale. helping Spokane. Here's what's funny. Is Auburn has to go to Spokane, <laughs> Washington, though. All right. So in Omaha, Nebraska, home of the College World Series. Naturally in the East region. We got yeah. BYU. Damn. So. This is a fun region so far. Man. A lot of Mormons. Going to be hanging out in Spoke in uh, Omaha there. And then that 611. See, so you got always the, the, the cane, the team I can never pronounce, even though I've. Seen it a million okay. times. You got easy money with me. Yeah, they won their league today, didn't they? Mm -hmm. All right, so then we got, oh, Illinois. That's the uh, Big Ten champion, right? Yeah. They just finished up a dub. Still sweating. Yep. Yeah, because this is what was crazy about it all, is you had so many different teams that at large bubbles that end up being problematic. Well, I was trying to get to where people could actually read it, but I guess we could do that at a more later time. Head. More head. More we can actually move this one back so that way yeah, we can get the full piece. Then we'll, we'll zoom it in once we actually write them in. All right, so they're going up against Moorhead State. I'll question the best team name. Blue Pig 00 says so that's the Arkansas makes it in as a 16 seed. All right. The Cougs. Washington State. Big fans of Sister Jean. I didn't even know that they were as good as what they were, but yeah. Washington State. Going up against, also in Omaha, Drake. Oh, that sucks for them, dude. Yeah. That's a yep. great dub, and they are not even able to celebrate on wow. whatever just happened there. I love when they get the delay. And the people oh, have been Iowa State, State is a two seed. That must mean Carolina got the other one. Yeah, I thought Iowa State could have been the last one. Yeah. All right, so yeah. Iowa State... Which lest we forget when they lost to who was it? Uh, Steve Nash and uh, Santa Clara. Santa Clara as the uh, two seed. They'll be facing off against South Dakota State. See the Jackrabbits. Jack Steve Mayo and the boys. And Jackrabbits. That's a sneaky one right there. It is. That's probably the two seed, the two fifteen game that like your uh, edgy buddy at work will pick and be like, right. <laughs> sure, <laughs> Jackrabbits. He thinks it's football. All right, so. The East region has been set. Well, bro so to going all over the place. Kind of take walks through it. I love how they have an East region, but they play games in Spokane. It's great. I wonder what the odds are for UConn to win that region, like minus seven fifty. <laughs> Has to be. I don't know. Like, 
They won't. I'm glad that they put. I guess Yale's the second best team in this region. <laughs> Big Yale guy over here. That's uh. I think it's probably the states, dude. Arkansas would be like the third best team in this region. This is a bad. That's no bad. That is a whoever whoever that, that UConn versus whoever wins that eight nine game. They're gonna be like sixteen point favorites. I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably go I mean, there. Auburn's going to have to beat San Diego State, probably, to get to a Sweet 16. And they probably won't. Good luck with that. Yeah. Jake, Jake <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to make of this region, to be honest. It's crazy. Look, like, a year ago, Illinois was a nine. Mm -hmm. And then they brought guys back. Had it, got some good pieces, and now they're receiving Big Ten champs. Jackson See? Robinson going to the Sweet Six. Last time Illinois was in this tournament, they got sent home by the picks. That's right. Is that, right. Is that correct? The uh, the guy that uh, was on Baylor's team that was there, whatever yeah, that guy's name Byron. was, yeah. All right, so uh, watch parties. I keep wondering, like, do they ever? I'm sure they do, but they have like watch film, like camera stuff on people that don't make it, right? Oh yeah, oh for sure. Oh, yeah. Like that's my mm -hmm. favorite thing. I wish they'd sell more of this. All right, Tommy, your commercial break is sponsored by so and so. I'm out. I hope we get a reaction to a team playing a team that they don't want to play, like Michigan did when they had to play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> you get to like stand up and clap, and it'll... yeah, you just see the life fall out of them, right? <laughs> That was the thing is I don't think Arkansas ever like had a celebration for who they were playing necessarily. I mean, Colgate, I guess, was not really that big of a deal. Has Arkansas but I remember... ever been on like the situation where they were like the last four in and they were getting filmed of like maybe they'll make it in? Like when's the last time Arkansas was really on the bubble and got in? Yeah. Yeah. See, but the Mike Anderson teams that made the tournament the lowest... were really on the bubble. Yeah, they were eight, you nine. Know? They were on the time. bubble, but on the wrong side of it a couple times. I don't know if there's been a year yeah. since like and, you know, like the, the the bad teams that have made it, like back in the day, won the SEC title game. I think Arkansas was you know a ten. I mean? like, the Arkansas was a ten seed that year, I believe, when they played USC and OJ Mayo. Yeah, so I they think that like was probably close. the closest that they got to a bubble year. I can't remember if I had anxiety wax down here coming. She said, "Stop, love the green curse." <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. I'm glad that somebody is uh, representing the holiday. Here today. I got another shirt in my uh, office. But you know, uh, Sunday. big Manhattan Jaspers where I'm um, showing for at school. Selection Sunday and Sweep Sunday supersede St. Patty's Day. Plus, I, I don't, I didn't really realize that today was St. Patty's Day. Like I, I've been celebrating. I've been saying it's like Saint a Patty's whole weekend. Like yeah, yeah. Like most people drank their green beer yesterday. Yeah. So, it's yeah. St. Patrick's Day in Detroit in uh, 2018. Mm. They started their St. Patrick's Day parade. 6 a.m. Good time to do it. Good time to do it. I didn't even really have to set an alarm to catch my flight to get out of there after I saw that bounce. You drink from Kool Aid? Yeah. What flavor is it? It's uh, strawberry. It's red. Red, red Kool Aid, yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of the, uh, was it the two men in one cave, whatever, the one with yes. yeah, Bert Kirchner, yeah. and they <laughs> talked about the 64 ounce of Kool Aid he was <laughs> drinking. Sir, I was like, everyone thinks that guy's really healthy with 60 points. Like, nope, it's just straight sugar Kool Aid. <laughs> what a goat squad, lol. All right, we do. Where did you assuming you're talking? You so, I got the, the hoop hat, was when my student section days they handed them out. I still had this. I was gonna rock the Courtney Forts and Wigs, but I feel like that's cultural appropriation these days. Can't get away with yeah, that. Be careful. So, um, but yeah, so I got, I was like, well, basketball, Arkansas's not in it, but. This is not a Darien Towns jersey. I know a lot of people oh, are going to get it mixed it up. Yeah, or Glenn Bryant. Antoine Bell. Antoine Bell. Little Antoine Bell jersey. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually, or a Charles Tatum. Uh, it's actually a, a Moses Moody number five jersey. So, all right. So, it looks like uh, we're back. Going to be selecting the next region. Okay, man, I should have. I wish there was a way where it wasn't black so I could write in east over here. But, yeah. Uh, so are we going down or do we go over? I think we're going okay, over. Top right. All right. Houston is your number one seed. As they should be. Once again. As God intended. In Memphis. Ooh, go watch Should we go? Yeah. Let's say that. Now, you remember how this like region, this uh, tournament set up perfectly for Arkansas to have such a great draw and mm -hmm. location wise? See if there are any portal. Barely Dickinson. Let's go. If there are any guys in this region with uh, portal ties. Peacocks. Peacocks. 
Longwood. Longwood. Man, if only we could have had game. Moorhead and Longwood play each other somehow. That would have been great. Imagine that first four. Oh, man. Longwood and Drake. Remember that yeah. Jared Pierce made that joke the other day? They both went viral at the same time. <laughs> Nebraska. Shout out to the Fighting Hoybergs for getting in the tournament for the yeah, first dude. time. In if, y'all, if y'all want a team to pull for, uh, it might be Nebraska. Is that? Kasei Tomonaga is a Yes. He's, he's going to be the darling of March. If he that guy's hair, man. Games. I haven't seen that one. Going up against Texas oh, and yeah. Another reason to root for uh, yeah. Nebraska. So a and got in with a nine seed. They were on the daggum bubble. So that's what I hate about it. It's because it depends on what conference they lost from. 14 games. They lost to Vanderbilt. They got swept by Arkansas. How the hell are they a nine seed? That's crazy. I'm telling you, if, if they would have lost that first round of the SEC or the first game in the SEC tournament, they probably either wouldn't have gotten in or been like the play in 11 seed. What the heck? Man? Wisconsin. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm going to go to Memphis and Rudy. Either that or maybe like AM was, they were so mad because of their draw. Like, was it last year? No, it was two years ago that they didn't get in. Yeah. So. Nine seed. I just cannot get over that. Yep, and so Girl, let's see. And 14, and that's not right. Yeah, that's wild to me. They should be in so, it, so it turned out they really weren't even James that. James Madison. Not making it. That, no. That's a uh, upset alert. Yeah, that's a troll. Yeah. Game for Wisconsin. Wisconsin lives to be lives these close in. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep, so that James might Madison, be that 12 don't know five. If Wisconsin's real exciting. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, be. That's your first look at a team that saw the, the name pop up, and they're like, <laughs> "Yeah, I don't know about that." Might be a guy. Duke, Duke is a four Duke. seed. Another team Arkansas beat this year. This is dang. <laughs> that's how many teams are we going to get that Arkansas beat this year in the tournament? So far, just two, I think. But Vermont. Well, was, ooh, I was just about that. Man, in Vermont would be. A Can't forget when Arkansas awesome. to play Vermont in the this, first round. That will be an interesting. Yeah. Game. Do probably one. That's an interesting. Has there mm-hmm. ever been a program that's been a 13 seed more than Vermont? No, uh, I, think, I think they're stuck there. Texas it's like Tech. Permanent, it's like permanent. They're an yeah. annual 13. Man, the Texas Tech team did not look good when we were in the Bahamas. They got a lot better. NC State. Ooh, NC State. ACC Red champs. High. Red high. Yeah, they had a big. I mean, that I'm mean, surprised they did, uh, didn't wind up in Dayton. Hey, Kevin Keats is going to have that job forever. Mm-hmm. He's just never going to end up. Did like, you see that uh, winning that got him a two-year two extension? Years. Yeah, I was, when, I, when I thought of extension, I was like, dude, I thought that dude was fired like dude, four times. Dude, we need that. And then when Dennis, Felton, when Dennis Felton won it with Georgia, they still fired him. <laughs> After he won the SEC tournament. They gave him an extension. Or you could be like the coach from Long Beach State who got fired. Ooh, Kentucky is the three like seed. I like State in that game, by the way, just tentatively. I don't love them, but they got the big boy. I like DJ Burns. That's a he is a boy. massive guy. Yeah. Kentucky will be facing off as the 14th seed of Oakland. Fighting Dane Willards? Did he go to Oakland? He went to Weaver State. Well, close enough. Who went to Oakland? Somebody went to Oakland that was like led the country in scoring. I don't know. Florida Gators at number seven seed. seed. Unfortunately for them, they're losing their first game. Yeah, dude broke his leg in half. Nap that thing. Oh, I, I heard that, and man. Bruce Pearl did not care. No, he didn't. But he did care. He started crying at the end of the game. Well, when he Boise State slash Colorado. Wait a minute. I thought the 11 seeds were always the yeah, play-ins. Yeah. What the heck? The 10 seeds, the, uh, a play-in game? Like the first time that's happened. Yeah. Interesting. So, okay. Boise State slash Colorado. Oh, wait. No, we got it down here. Yeah, we got it down here. Uh, Boise State and Colorado. Interesting. Hmm. All right. That seems. Hmm. So I, I probably should have If anyone's actually side, to be listening honest. to the uh, idiot. to the audio of this, tell us why that's a thing. Yeah, Marquette is your two seed. They're going down here like two. It's cold that kind of thing. Nope. Yeah. It's... Hey, Shaka like, Smart, like, uh, you think he'll get a new hair piece for this tournament? He needs one. <laughs> <laughs> he just he pulled a Brian Erlacher and just pulled up with hair this year. Like, Western cannot... Kentucky, the Hilltopper. Hey, did y'all see the Hilltopper with a with a boner? After they no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just if you go on on Twitter and just look at Hill Topper, Topper. It's like yeah. after they won, the mascot just was like laying on its back, and it was dude pitching a tent. Yeah, his, kind of funny. The thing is, it's his name's Big Red too. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. my brother went to Western Kentucky. So, so far, really? like, yeah. I don't see a one seed that I'm like concerned about their path going to. down early. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah it's like it's like I kind of just. I don't know. I mean, you know, obviously Duke Houston, that's not going to be an easy game for him, but again, is Duke going to make it there? Are they going to string together a few? I just do not understand the Boise, Colorado. I 
can't wait for that James Madison of Vermont second second round game. Mm. Yeah, well, huh? Yeah, I'd say it's always been eleven. Seeds. Whatever Houston's odds are to make the Final Four, I don't know because I guess I'll have to beat Kentucky. That that'd be the one thing is like Kentucky's probably the team that could beat them here. Yeah, I don't think. But really, I really I don't think you really fear anybody. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even Kentucky, it's like you fear them that much. I mean, they, they, their offense seems to turn the corner, but mm-hmm. I like I like Houston's path a little bit. Do, 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 do. You think Muscle end up on this this uh this broadcast here? Yes. Um him or Danielle. How many Q1 yeah. wins did AM get? It's like eight, it's, wasn't it? It's not crazy. Five or six. They probably got quite a few. Yeah. Who's that? Is that Vermont? No, I was seeing this thing. Uh, I saw a tweet that went out earlier today that said Richard Patino may have cost Rick Patino a bid to the NCAA tournament. Oh, I love that because New Mexico kept winning oh, games, I and uh, St. John's is right there on the low. Well, see, that's the thing is, I thought St. John's first four out. The last I saw this yeah. morning, because what was it? The because there was three teams that were on the bubble that won their conference tournament, right? NC State. Or at least took out an at-large bid. Yeah, NC State yeah. still a bid. Uh, West- UAB. UAB, yeah. And then there was, I think there was just like a third one that was kind of like random. Uh, was it? It wasn't Illinois, but. Um... Yeah. I'm trying to think of who y'all. Uh... Was Yale in at-large territory? No. I wondered if Princeton was. Hmm. Here's the thing, like. With a- going back to the A&M thing. So, like, if they would have lost that first game of the SEC tournament, like. No, well, based on them being a nine seed, that kind of makes me think they were safe no matter. Yeah, what that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, they, they would have been what, like nineteen and fourteen. Ew. Well, yeah, I don't know. Man. That's gross. They might be the worst team in the tournament. Oh uh, yeah, I'm picking picking Nebraska. <laughs> like, period, man. I don't look good against Arkansas either time, man. I'm picking Nebraska no matter what. I can tell you that. In every bracket. That's yep. what you want. Like, every bracket. Well, brackets, you got Nebraska. <laughs> I'm thinking about Jamal Shedd blocking up Wade Taylor potentially in the second round. That's getting me going. Hey, it is going to be yeah. the team that people talk themselves into because they're like, hey, they got those guards. <laughs> they don't realize those guards shoot 33% from the floor. We'll, we'll hear all these, uh, you know, sideline reports and pregame things about, this is why they call Tyrese Radford boots. Oh, see, now I don't even know all that. <laughs> Yeah, the they routed Did you know he was at Virginia State? New Mexico. New the team that stole a bid. That's right. Yep. Well, when we, we started with them, they, they started yeah. the conversation. We yeah. bid, bid you know, I really wish, though, just for the sake of like hilarious content, that Arkansas was a bubble team and then they got left out just so we could hear Muss. Because you know, Muss would lose his mind. Like that year when COVID happened. Had, you know, it's crazy. That, I think if they had beaten Auburn or beaten South Carolina and lost to Auburn, he would have been like, I feel like this is a tournament team. Who's the tournament team? What are we doing? He would have probably done something. But yeah, that year in 2020 when they lost, he was acting like they were like locks to make the tournament. Yeah. But if that, that 2020 year when COVID hit, when we all know that they were not going to make the tournament, even though he said right. it, like if they would have not made it on the bubble. There was one time, been... like within the last two years, where he was referencing it. He was like, you know, we go to the Elite Eight back to back years. And the year before, we were going to make the tournament. And it kind of stabbed yeah, you through it. Like, yeah, well, it's not, that's not going crazy. Uh, <laughs> UConn to win it all, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, I like it. Good It's like, really it's not going surprising. On there, yeah. Man. So, I like, speaking of, I was a, a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan as a kid. And uh, Knuckles was like the person I wanted to be in life. You wanted to be Knuckles. I wanted to be Knuckles. They made this movie for you. I know, but I, it was like, I was kind of worried, but I, you know, that fact that Ilder Selba is the one that voices is like, that is kind of crazy. I yeah. I did not think that that would be what Knuckles sounded like, but. You know, it's all good. It's all good. I just missed it so bad. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't like uh, old Diva. What happens in Vegas stays hey, did in Vegas. Did you see the dude from Penn State last night? Uh-uh. Oh, my they God. Got, they hit a go-ahead yes. bucket with like six seconds left. Oh, yep. Yeah, he fouled. And he fouled. I did see that. <laughs> that was rough, man. And that was the same dude that got suspended last year for doing like a pregame MF at Akron on, uh, on Instagram or whatever. Yeah, he probably should have got suspended again. Yeah. They should suspend him again for doing that. Suspended again for his dumb decision in game. Yep. Wild thing. Pretty dumb decision. That uh, that foul last night fouled him out of the game. 
So All right. Watch. He had to go watch. That's next region is the Midwest. So we're now we're over here. Purdue is your one seed. Uh, I think is it over here? Over there. Okay. Please give them St. Peter's. Yeah, it is. Yes, that would be awesome. Please do that. They're gonna do it. Do the bit. Uh, it's in Indy. It's a play-in, I think. Montana State or Grambling State. So they probably won't lose. Yeah, but they gave them away. <laughs> shout out to the shout out to the Rustin, Louisiana boys here. Boise State. You better learn date knees, buddy. Is it Montana State? What right? room is this they're in? Like a cafeteria? It's, like, it's got the cafeteria floor. For cleared sure. out the cleared out the kitchen. Might be the student union. Yeah. <laughs> Utah State is the eighth seed. Coaching carousel sprinkle. Yeah, are the, the best Aggies in this tournament? Yes. Oh, yes. Can you explain to me why they're an eight? Uh, no. Oh, I can't. Twenty-seven and six. Yeah. TCU is going to play in as the nine seed. I was I like Utah State in that one, honestly. Man, there's a lot of bad teams in the tournament. Yeah, this year. there's yeah, not. Yeah, the Arkansas is not in this. Is really yeah, bad. Yeah, I wish that Arkansas you was a bad no team in the tournament. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goodness. Gonzaga has a five oh, seed. Yeah, that's that's way higher than I do. Like they were on the bubble a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, that's yeah. Long ago. Yeah, but you know they gotta. They can't have not. They can't. Oh, they're not. losing. McNeese oh, State. They're losing. Oh, McNeese. Look at Will Wade. They're, they're no longer white fit. fit. They're just McNeese. Oh, they, they are. White fit. Wow. Oh, whoops. Look how. Kind of like Louisiana Lafayette. Look, when yeah, that, all the Louisiana schools are just chance. Dude, that's we're gonna be a great one. Long. That they got a, on a very white. Don't show us the Gonzaga watch party. Late. They're gonna be sitting there like, bro. Look at the goggles on that dude. Will Wade is about. He's a tasty man. I bet that. McNeese is the most picked upset. Oh, easily. Kansas well, is a fourth right. feed. Well, I hope it's picked on this. That's part. a little higher than I thought, too. Yes. Kansas on upset alert, too. McNeese is going to Sweet 16, boys. Sanford. Sanford. Of course, Dude. we're going to eat those boys alive. Bucky Honestly, hey, what, what will the spread be in both of those games? Like, single digit for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, I think that, that McNeese one, it might be like minus three. That's, <laughs> uh, man, I love Sanford. Yeesh. Ooh, yeah, I'm kind of like, it's going to get weird. Yeah, that, yeah, that's potential, like, where I don't know who to pick in a lot they of They tried to set it up for Purdue. This is, yeah, yeah Purdue, 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 should, should, Purdue should, should, Purdue should, you know, make a cakewalk. Yeah. They don't call them Purdue for no reason, John. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, I think Man. Purdue to the Elite Eight easily. So South are. Carolina comes in as a six seed. Oh, they're about to get bombed. We got here. Worst watch party by far. Yeah. Pizza yeah, like they're, in line at, they're in line at the buffet. Yeah, hold on, let's turn around and film this real quick. Worst watch. Going up against season. Oregon, the Dana Albans. Yeah. Ah, Carolina Yeah. Smells like I don't know, man. Something about those teams when the first time they're in tournaments. Creighton Ooh. at three. I like Creighton. I've lost a lot of money on them this year. I think Creighton uh, will beat South Carolina oh. fairly soundly. <laughs> No, nah, they're not gonna blow them out, but I think they'll beat them solid. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll be facing off against the 14 seated Akron. Oh, uh, the old Zed. The fighting, the fighting Brownies had the uh, had the bid handed to them literally. Akron's gonna be led by Bronny James next year. That's they're gonna be nasty in this tournament. <laughs> Texas as your seven seed. You know, doing up a year Whoever a Texas, is, I'm probably gonna pick, pick this 10 seed. I'm just, just telling yeah, you. Yeah, I'm yeah, probably yeah. Pick it. Virginia or Colorado Ooh, State? Definitely. Whoa. Definitely. Whoa. I like either one of those. Teams. I mean, Colorado State, Nico Medved's great yeah. coach. They have the best uh, point guard. I don't, I don't I, I think, yeah. I'm going to blindly. Virginia's fraud, dude. I can't. Yeah, they're not, I would have rather see anyone for Virginia right there, but yeah. I, still, I still like the 10 seed in that one. Yeah. All right. And two seated Tennessee Volunteers. Could have a burnt orange uh, matchup in the second round. I feel like that's happened before. Well, like Tennessee and Texas were supposed to play yep. in the NCAA tournament. I think that happened, yeah. I think Tennessee's going to win a couple games here. Looks like it, yeah. They're set up to. I mean, they should win a lot of games in the tournament. They're Over really in Charlotte, the 15 and Man, they were so bad the other day. I mean, yeah. no, it, just, it was a Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, St. Peter's. Uh-oh. Damn it, man. <laughs> don't get them. I don't know, man. Points, I think, uh, oh, uh, Rick, Rick Barnes, he doesn't he do too well in the tournament. So, so that's Tennessee where... Tennessee Purdue, man. Didn't they play in like an ex no, maybe I think Tennessee. I think Creighton Creighton State. State. Creighton, Tennessee would be a lot of fun to watch. That's a lot of uh, Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a very uh good 
Caucasian basketball players. I could see this being like a really chaotic region that ends up kind of being chalky. At the end, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's like Purdue. Like McNeese and, and Sanford win, and yeah, yeah, but it winds up being Purdue and Purdue versus whoever. I would, I, would yeah. watch, I would watch the crap out of McNeese and Sanford. Me too. Yeah. McNeese is about to do damage. I cannot believe this. <laughs> I'm like, I've become such a big Will Wade man since he got fired from LSU. I can't stand it. <laughs> I have not gotten it. I love it. And man. I will not be there anytime soon. He'll great me uh, all white. His defense is going to give him absolute fits, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, thank God there wasn't an, an opportunity for, like, a McNeese-Virginia oh, gosh. NCAA tournament game, which would have just set basketball back a good bit. They're being mean to us in the chat? Not yet. We haven't got to our picks. <laughs> no, that's when, it's like, that's when the mean... Said, Welcome back to the John Miller show. <laughs> All because I like the... I like the knuckles from <laughs> from Sonic the Hedgehog. It's pretty good. Matthew Lowe's got it figured out. He said, "My sleeper in the tournament is the one and only McNeese State coached by Will Wade." That's right. Buddy. Hey, yeah. tell them that they're no longer McNeese State. They're yeah, just McNeese. 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 Because a bit of an McNeese is not actually a state, so it makes sense. Dude, people start going away from that. Like Memphis used to be Memphis State. You know, and then yeah. that is Memphis. Yeah, and then, now the throwback uniforms that they have say Memphis, Memphis State. Yeah. And then Texas a and is dumb where it says Texas Aggies on their jerseys, which I really hate. I really hate it. Yeah. Uh, the flagship school of the state. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Charles Barkley singing. Rick. That's Steve Samuel there. He's losing weight now. in there. Jennifer Gardner? I'm putting out all the stops for Capital One these days. I don't know who that is. That's not how headphones work. <laughs> so it's supposed to be like a we oh magic Johnson. It's supposed to be like a we are the world thing i guess fighting sams with a mascot jeez so how many uh you think this is the last year that they'll have only 68 teams i hope not man I, no, I'm, I'm not a, a I'm not expansion home. fan at all no, but okay, okay, I mean, think about, like, there's only like there's only like 25 good teams maybe yeah we should not be letting more bad teams in. So we're going into the last region, and we have not seen St. John's. We have not Seton seen Hall. Seton Hall. We have Providence. not seen Mississippi State. Oh, yeah. Providence. Because we only had, what, three SEC teams so far? Auburn, Kentucky, and – no, and then A&M, and also Auburn, Kentucky, Tennessee, 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 the four. Tennessee, Florida. So, so five oh, we've already seen five. Florida? Okay, yeah. that's right. Um, who else are we expecting? No, I don't think we've seen Florida yet. Yeah, we've seen they're it. They're, they're, they're over here. They're in that. They're right. They're, oh, they're um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Random. Oh, yeah. yeah the random. That Florida. Yeah. Eight? Who's eight? Well, Ole Miss, screwed it up, so they're not. Yeah, so I guess that's probably. Maybe. So that would be the sixth Alabama. 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 Miss, yeah. So seven. Okay. Yeah, Mississippi State and Alabama. Six or seven, depending on Mississippi State. Easy to forget about Alabama. They'll be out in the first round anyway. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. a short, short run. Yeah. Bama losing might be my one veto here today. Let's see. You no, know, which, by the way, folks, for those of you watching, like, we're not just writing it on the board and then ending the stream because then it's like, what's the point? We're actually going to pick and we're going to do our votes here. But since there's four of us, it's going to be group decisions. May have to be group decisions, or maybe we have to rely on the chats or the chat to. Uh, yeah, the chat. yeah, I don't know. It's like if we really can't decide, we like chat. <laughs> chat, hit us up. Yeah, the first answer that comes up. So we'll do that. We'll, it will pick somebody, and then they'll be the top. Yeah. I wonder how many. We'll times based on the posters. Too. Oh man. Because like some posters, yeah. we trust a little more than others. Yeah. Yeah, we know if you're a troll. Yeah. yeah. Just trying to ruin the. And brand. then each of us get a Trump card, which basically means that if there's a game that we all voted against that person or whatever they can step and say i'm using my one trump as in this is my pick i haven't even thought about what i'm going to do with my trump yet well hopefully you know i don't know we may not need it oh, i'm going to need it Listen, there's a lot of really good teams <laughs> <laughs> a lot of teams good out teams. there good teams a lot good, of good teams good, 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 good teams yes you're using trump for a trump it's a beautiful thing <laughs> Gosh, i was like wow there's a lot of good teams in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> defense i really love defense dude by the way we we had, we talked about this before. Are we gonna get the president filling out his uh his thing. I want to make I want to I'm gonna Biden have to do it by himself too. Like got to go out there and like man read all the names. Andy Cat's gonna show up and demand it. Yes, he should. All right, all right final all right. region: UNC, UNC North Carolina. Born and raised up. 
North Carolina's a good basketball team, man. Could they lose to NC State? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. As a lot of folks do. I thought they were I thought they were all right when we saw them in the Bahamas, but they've really figured it out. Figured out a lot. Howard and Wagner. <laughs> we saw Howard last year. Shout out to uh it's Kansas. Uh, Howard. That's where Kamala Harris went. Right? Oh, yeah, wasn't she in their locker room earlier this year? <laughs> Basketball. Was she at the Mayor's? There's Mississippi State. There's Mississippi State. State. Close to not. What the Arkansas <laughs> movie was turning on? Yeah. Arkansas <laughs> legit might be a 10 seed. I'd die. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Michigan State. Wow. Dude. Battle of the MSUs. Man, that's Dude, so that's cool. one of the worst 8 9 games I've ever seen. I will not watch that. That is a bad. Those are two bad basketball teams. Mississippi State's not a bad basketball team. But I think Michigan State's like getting in just the Izzo Eight. factor. Listen, it's January, you February. Can't have 27 combined losses in this game. Where neither one got a uh, combined 40 and 27. 8 9. Listen, Same Mary's January, but as far as what you February. Think of an 8 9 game is. That's, that's, that's a bit, though. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. But man, that's. Yeah, they're they're up usually up. terrible. All right. Yeah. St. Mary's is going to be on upset watch no matter who. I feel like St. Mary's is another five constant five seed. Ooh. Grand Canyon. The fighting Bryce Drew. The Lope. That's, uh, watch out for the Lope, man. I don't know. That's a scary one right there. You know what's sad is every time I think of Grand Canyon, I think of that baseball. Brady's right baseball player transferred there. Uh, Gregory. Gregory, yeah. Where, all right, Sano, where is St. Mary's at? I think it's in Philadelphia or something. It's in California. It's on the West Coast. It's in okay. So They're nobody really, really has an advantage here in Spokane. Alabama, a four seed. 11 lots, Alabama. Gets up 100 points a game and they get a four seed. They're you taking an L. Charleston. Charleston. <laughs> Charleston. I like I like Bama having to go to Spokane. Oh, yeah, that's great for them. They deserve that. They deserve got a Spokane. Nice, uh, nice fan base there. All right, Memphis, Tennessee. Six seed, Clemson. Okay. I have not watched Clemson play one game of basketball. They have a really, really good player. Good guy. It's the big white the tall in the white middle. Dude. Yeah, he's nice. Like CJ Hall. Yeah. yeah. He's like Jimmer Fredette, New Mexico. Ah, so. the Richard Patinos. Man, shh. They might be Clemson. That's might scary. Be up, so. I was. Yeah, I haven't seen Clemson scary. play, but sheesh, man, y'all got to talk me into that. Is that that's Usher in the watch party, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's saying. Man, how many? I mean, there's been a lot of games pop up where I kind of like the lower team. Three seed like Baylor. The games that have popped up so far, I'm like, oh. Baylor is a three seed fair. Yep, going up against Colgate. Oh, we remember them. Yeah. Also, a Razorback team that they played as a three fourteen matchup. Yeah, perennial yeah. fourteen. <laughs> in Memphis. Walking in Memphis. Dayton is a seven. Salt another, Lake that's another prop. Salt Lake in Memphis. That's a tough combo of city thing there. Mm -hmm. but, like, we're away. Nevada. They're taking a nail. The 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 team that Musk was formerly on is, is that, in the uh, tournament. Who's, is, is it still uh, offered at Nevada? Yeah. I think Musk is regretting his decision now. I think Mark Musk regrets every decision he makes, like, <laughs> no matter what it is, whether it's good or bad. He just is constantly in regret of everything he does. Two seed Arizona. Okay. In Salt Lake, that's a good draw for them. And Mr. Irrelevant, as far as the final team in the NCAA tournament, as the 15 seed goes to. Somebody. Long Beach State. Yes. Who? Shout out to Long Beach State for cashing an under for me the other day. Shout out to Long Beach State <laughs> for announcing before their conference tournament they were parting ways with their head coach yeah. at the end of the year, and then they won the damn thing and got to the NCAA. That's a tough look. That's uh Beautiful thing. They have an awesome court, by the way. Palm trees on it. Mm. Yeah, I messed with Long Beach State when I was growing up because Troy Tulowitzki played baseball for them. That was it there, and uh, Jared Weaver was there too. They've had a nice little uh, mm -hmm. the yeah, dirtbags on the cover of a uh, college baseball oh, game. Yeah, yeah the dirtbags. Mm. Okay. All okay, right. Good. Well, there it so is. I guess we should get the picking, huh? Yeah, picking our poisons How here. How do we want to go about this? Are we? Uh, yeah, that's the kind of the thing. Is like. So we have multi-marker colors, but I was thinking, if do we fill it all in as blue and then mark the so. correct one as greens and the bad wrong ones as reds? Yeah. Yeah. Put like yeah. Do it that. Think so. All yeah. right, we'll see how close we can actually move this to the screen, and we can go ahead and, put it like region by region. Yeah, we'll turn off this TV so that way you know the glare is not there anymore. There you go. Ish. So 
Let's see. Let's get it all in there as much as we possibly can. It's still going to be far away, but that's okay. Um, we'll talk you through it. Yeah, we'll help you out whenever we can to make it work for you. So, Yukon. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> We're going to start with uh, that Unanimous one. Unanimous Yukon? Yeah, I don't know. You might think the headers are going to get weird. Huh. I don't. I don't even want to hear the case for it, actually. No. Yeah. Okay. I, there, we can talk about some ones. I, that I can hold it up here and do it this way yeah. too. All right, so well, we had a taller. Well, someone, someone right. take them. You can't have the marker and the camera. I'll hold the camera. Dude, I'm so I can I can do so many things with my hands. You don't even know. There we go, look. Okay. Well, Plus. get closer. Yeah, so there's only half the screens at the wall, so you can go like that. See, it's tough when you're looking at it and you're trying to make it work. There we go. Ish. A little glary. Yeah, it's a little glary. It's fine. All right, so uh, Yukon, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead and sharpie that one in. All right, so FAU Northwestern, <gasps> tough matchup. Eight nines usually are. I I like Northwestern, but that's based on zero information. I haven't watched FAU this year because I didn't like how much hype they were getting. Preseason. Yeah, okay. Northwestern well, they... beat Purdue this year. Because FAU is what preseason like FAU, number ten. Yeah, FAU is. Uh... Here's the thing about FAU. FAU got they, went, they went to the Final Four last year and they returned their whole team. So, like, this ain't new to them. Yeah. I like I'd go with FAU. I, I think I would go with I'm FAU. not going to use a Trump on this. Okay, so FAU it is. Dude, if you need to use your but Trump I do want the records to show that FAU, I wanted Northwestern. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to use my Trump, but I do want the records to show. All right, so then we go San Diego State UAB, 512. Usually dicey, but I personally giving my vote to San Diego State in this one. I think San Diego State just uh, they, they they you know they they playing good defense this year. I would imagine they always play good defense. So I was like I was like they they seem like they're safe from stupid upsets like this. They've got mm-hmm. a star in the in the front court. Kawhi Leonard, UAB. yeah, he's yeah. good. They played in the championship game last year. <laughs> UAB is is dangerous, but all that experience, man. I got I think I got to say. All right, so we'll go with S D S U. All right. Chalk, so. Well, we got three games then. Um, Auburn and Yale. Auburn. I think it's Auburn. Although I don't want them to win. Yale could make Auburn. it weird. Yeah. BYU and Decane. Yale, Yale plays some good defense, but I do think Auburn is going to be too much for them. The Mormons versus the name of the school everyone mispronounced. So BYU is the team I've lost more money on than anyone this year. I have not gotten anything right. with with No matter where I'm betting on BYU, so I feel like I just need to bow out of this one. Okay. Scotty Curtis, any thoughts? BYU leads the country in three-point shooting. Jackson Robinson, yeah. worth noting. I keep forgetting he's there. Yeah. Well, in that case, I'm going uh, to the, the sixth man of the year in the Big 12. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting BYU's in the Big 12, too. Yeah. Um, all, the, all the things I, like, know. Uh, I'm giving it to BYU because of just the, the proud yeah. conference they come from. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to summon the spirits of uh, – the guy I just mentioned, I just already forgot his name. The player that was there, Jimmer Fredette. You're gonna bring yeah. him back. Yeah, no Illinois Moorhead, Brandon yeah. Davies. <laughs> yeah, Brandon Davies. <laughs> Illinois or uh, Moorhead? Illinois. Yeah, honestly. they're pretty damn I, solid this year. I tried. I tried to figure out maybe a possible. Uh, Is Drake our first non-chalker? It might be. Either. Washington State Drake, dude. I, I've always said Drake. I, I always pick Drake in the first yeah, round. I like Drake. All right, so. Can't yeah, say we're chalk yet. I saw Drake in concert. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's it. Drake. I always take Drake. <laughs> take Drake. <laughs> well, Washington State's not a, you know, like, a lot of these teams in the NCAA tournament, you know what to expect. Like, you know, back in the day, Wichita State, it was like, oh, you kind of yeah. know what you're getting. Washington State, how many times have they been to the big dance in the last that's 20 the first years? time enough. Yeah. So I'm like, in 20 years, yeah. Yeah. Those are the type of teams that play a little tight. 7-10, I like that. So Iowa State, South Dakota State upset here? I, Okay. No, we're not gonna do it. But if there were a two fifteen, that's the one I like. Listen, we'll we'll still have some fun with the spreads, you know, when we those will. come out. So like we can yeah, save we, our we uh, our show. yeah our stuff that we think is dangerous. I don't okay, think they just beat Houston by thirty. Gonna beat people. So we want to go just round by round or region by region. Yeah, region by region. Yeah, okay, just region yeah, just that way you don't have to move the camera so much. UConn, <laughs> UConn, FAU, any uh. No. Any up? Uh, I'm happy to hear any objections. Uh, yeah, I'd say uh, objections to it. I don't have one. Man. I, didn't, I didn't even like it. You, you, FAU in the first game. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, like uh, South Dakota, uh, San Diego State, or Auburn. Give me Auburn. Man, give me San Diego State. That's, I'm going San Diego vote. State. That's my vote if we're we're counting the tally up. Here. I'm going San Diego State. Curtis, you can either cause a tie. I'm or... going Auburn. All right. 
Chat. Decide. Chat. You got to decide. Yeah. San Diego State or Auburn? Well, well, nobody wants to do the Trump here. Yeah, right? San Diego State or Auburn. Who are we going to get with here? I know. I think we just. First few comments or first comment. Once just we whatever. get to five comments, go with the majority. Yeah. Let's know, Chat. San Diego State, Branson. Auburn. Branson says San Diego State. Uh, he hates Auburn. But Branson does. His his vote should count a little uh, bit. We got one for Auburn. Okay. So the next vote we get here will we'll, we'll yeah, be the one that decides it. Every get you, get yeah. Yeah, the next person who picks. It's either Auburn, San Diego State. Who do y'all got? Who are you thinking? Who are you feeling? What you th- I mean, this could go a lot of different directions. I mean, listen, we, we got to... Like, I know we got like 800 people oh, watching. All right. All right, San Diego State. Hey, that's the right pick. I, it I, is. I respect it. I really didn't want to have to bust out a Trump on this. Here's the thing, here's yeah. the thing about Auburn is... I love Jani Broom and Jalen Williams, but their guards are so bad. Katie and Johnson. San Diego State will guard the hell out of you. You cannot mm-hmm. expect Katie Johnson to play well twice in a row. No. To be on a team that wins two games in a row ever. No. I don't that think... guy sucks. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We'll do I'll that. So, uh, so we're... yeah, we'll go down here to BYU, BYU Illinois. BYU, baby. What we didn't take into account was Auburn and Bruce Pearl running all those go touches oh. for Jani Broom. Banana cut. Here's my thing Auburn has been <laughs> playing. <laughs> A little too well entering this tournament. Yeah, I don't like that. The team that enters hot, you just never feel like the SEC champions historically yeah, suck in March they never for the last well. like 15 years. No, I, I think they've been playing a little too well for my liking. No, I feel good about that pick. I feel good about that pick. All right, so uh, BYU, Illinois. BYU. Andrew? I kind of like BYU. Just the three point shooting, I feel like, is the big variable here, obviously. Well, I've been wrong about BYU a lot, though, so it's like I don't know. I haven't watched Illinois a ton, a ton to have a good feel for them, but I don't hate. I don't hate the Cougs. So you going? No, nah, I'm going Illinois. Illinois. All right. I've come and all the way around. You were in the chat again. Yeah, we gotta go with the nah, chat. Are we two and two here? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, like uh, I say BYU. Let's go. I say BYU. Yeah, I all right, BYU. We got first, a Jackson Robinson. First fan. vote that's not Branson. It's Branson's bias. Illinois. Illinois, Illinois it is. is. That's the right pick. Illinois it is. Fair enough. Fair enough. All That's right. the right we, we respect the decision. I think they learned a lot from their lost Arkansas last year. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> they definitely did. All yeah, right. They got, got Terrence Shannon who just dropped uh, three in the Iowa tournament. State. Drake and Iowa State. Iowa State. Let's go Iowa State. All right. Those dudes are nasty. All right. Coming up here to the Elite Eight game of UConn, UConn and San Diego State. UConn all the way for everybody? Yes. All right. And Illinois, Iowa State, Battle of the uh, I States. So, big one here. I like, I I like, like Iowa State. I like. Uh, I think I like Iowa State as well. That's three, so I don't think Curtis's vote matters, but you can use your Trump if you like. Curtis, what are you feeling? Oh. Oh. Give me an answer. Curtis, you ain't about to use your Trump on Illinois. Mm. Nah. All right, all right. So Iowa State. Iowa State it is. Okay. And now the battle for the final four. UConn. UConn, Iowa State. Anybody object to UConn? Yeah. And that's why it also doesn't matter. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's, that was my deciding factor. Okay. Now. now who wants to trade with me? Yeah. Let's do some, 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 some <laughs> rotating for holding the, our cameraman okay, here, our professional down cameraman. Down here, up? Yeah, we could just do that. So. Wait. Yeah, you could set this one probably down uh, pretty low. Well. No, wait. There's, you can't see Arizona. Here, hold on, hold on, here we go. What you do here, boys, is you you get you twist this little knob right here, and when you twist it, suddenly you can move this like that. Ooh, but yeah, we could probably move it lower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like it's fine. People know it's all good. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll start right here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blindly. Well, sh- I guess we should we have, do we are we each counting the 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 playing games? Do we I need to pick we those? Need to yeah, we are. Okay. No, here's why because I'm gonna pick at least one of them to win. Okay. Well, here's here's the problem. I forgot. I forgot who plays North Carolina. I think it's the Howard and Wagner game. So who do we want between Howard and Wagner? Give me Howard. I love Howard. I don't know. I like Wagner because it sounds funny to say. You just hate HBCUs. That's what it is. <laughs> See, don't start rumors. <laughs> My <laughs> you mean Wagner? Howard or yeah. Wagner, Curtis? It's Wagner. Whatever. How, what'd you guys say, Howard? I said, well, they're playing North Carolina. I said Wagner. They said, yeah. They, I like Howard. I like so. 
I just I don't know if this one's worth going to the man. chat for a moment. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Chat. chat. Howard or Wagner. We got Howard by Branson. Howard it is. Howard it is. <laughs> when the boss says Howard, we go Howard. That's right. Howard the Ducks. Um, <laughs> all right. So with that being said, I like North Carolina or Howard. Not only do I like Mississippi, Mississippi State here, I love Mississippi State. Mississippi State and Michigan State. Love them. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Josh Hubbard. Told Michigan me. State and A&M are the two worst teams in this tournament. Listen, yeah, Cam, that's Cam, Matthews, true. Cam Matthews will win them. Okay. Okay, so Mississippi State all yeah, the way? I like Mississippi State there. All right. Listen, you know why we like them so much? Chris Jans was in Nashville actually coaching his team. He yeah, was. He on, a, after. on a practice day. On a practice day. Oh, on a practice day. day. Yeah, he was getting yeah. after during the game, and too. It's he so was, crazy, like, his assistants didn't say a word, dude. No. Like, Chris Jans was The whole punch, South Carolina was on the floor. Lamont Paris talked to Jimmy Dykes and Carl Ravage. He never looked up at his team. Chris Jans was coaching his team for the full 40 minutes that yeah. they were alive on the floor. Oh, well, helped him out. Um, and he has a kid, Chris Jans is better than Tom Izzo. Change my mind. Uh, St. Mary's and Grand Canyon. Could this be the illustrious? Y'all talk about it because I got I to gotta do some Ken Palm research before I make my pick here. <laughs> All right. So St. Mary's, Grand Canyon. There's always, or at least the, the stats always say, a 12 upsets a five more often than any other seeded game. But I'm going to be honest. I haven't well, watched one, any of these. There's teams. like one that happens like every year. That's right? James yeah. Madison, Wisconsin. Sure. Yeah. That agree. is probably That's true. true. So uh, is there an I, upset? Man, Grand Canyon is tough. Here's the thing about St. Mary's. They have Aiden Haney. Yeah. And St. Mary's, I think they've lost seven games all year, and they lost six before Christmas. Like, they've just been okay. white hot. They beat Gonzaga in, the, uh, in their conference tournament, and it cost me more money than I'm proud enough to admit. Um, this is a pretty Grand big Canyon's Kim Palm gap, considering it's a 5-12. It's a 33-team gap. Is it? Uh, so like this is not as close as I was hoping. I, I like thought Mary's. I thought last year the St. Mary's had a chance to beat UConn, and they were playing them tough in the first half, and their big man got hurt, and then UConn pulled away, and then Arkansas got the hell beat out of them. Um, that never here's happened. the problem. I'm going St. Mary's here. We can't pick Alabama to go to the Sweet Six, which is why I'm picking St. Mary's. Okay, <laughs> so I'm kind of with you. Me and you think a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go St. Mary's because the Antelopes ain't winning two games in this tournament. Yeah, we think a lot of like Also, here. maybe give it a little bump down. Yep, so did we already decide? I think we're going St. Mary's. I think we're unanimous. I don't know. I don't know. All right, Mary's. so then St. Mary's it so is. Mary's I'm not even going to give my vote. St. Arkansas, Greg, you can quit watching anytime you want, brother. Yeah, what did he say? We're picking the bracket. It's oh. all. Anyway. <laughs> On selection show Sunday. Slang show takes away from your board, right? Uh, well, your we lame comments up, take away from our we awesome chat. It's such a brand. It would be yeah. a shame to see it go out the window. Yeah. 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 Imagine, the imagine uh, doing a bracket pick on Selection Sunday. What a bunch of idiots. Yeah. Man. It's like, dude, you don't have to watch. Anyways. Bama uh, Charleston. Bama Charleston. Bama. Although, so Char Bama if it was last year's Charleston, I'd like that. So, we're going to go with. I'll give Bama the nod here. Yeah, they I hate to do it, but. Too. You know, like they're the opposite of Auburn here, where it's like Dude. Auburn's been playing too well. Bama, I feel like, is still hungry because they've been sucking for the last few weeks. Yeah. It's too obvious of a, like, 413 upset. Dude, they just got yeah. ran off the floor in the tournament, the SEC tournament. I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Is like the teams that suck leading into the tournament come in a little hungry. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I think we're all that. Okay, so now Clemson, New Mexico gets interesting. The 611 mm -hmm. game right here. Clemson, New Mexico. Me, personally, I'm going to just say right now I, I like New Mexico here. But that's also be admitting I've never watched Clemson play this entire yeah. year. Clemson won at Alabama when we were hanging out with Aaron Torres. That's Chinese. right. That's right. I do remember that. But that was in the That was the closest I've come to watch him play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember anything from that. Yeah. Um, Dude, I don't know, man. This one's I tough. I feel like this is going to be a trendy New Mexico pick, and Clemson's just going to take care of business. I feel the same way. Yeah. I think I'm rolling Clemson. I think I'm going to. I was going to go Clemson, too. So, I guess Clemson it is. No Trump card? No. no. Okay. Sounds like we're all going to be saving it for something else. All right, Baylor and wait till we get laid here. Baylor and Colgate. Patino is not going to last long. Yeah. They, they, 15 they, seconds, I'm told. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe 40 minutes this time. Goodness. Baylor and Colgate. Baylor. Baptist versus toothpaste. So, we're going Baylor? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I do want to just point out, though, Ken Palm had New Mexico at 23 and has Clemson at 34. Hmm. 
So that would be a Ken Palm upset if Clemson were to advance. But I do think I, I think I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, can you click on one of the teams and mm-hmm. do they have the matchup? Probably so already. But I'm not I don't have Ken Palm. Oh, you don't have the let me go there. Give me my login, bro. I, I I do have a login, but I think I forgot it. So Dayton, Nevada. Our next pick, uh, the former Musses versus the uh, place where the playing games Dayton are. Has a, Dayton has an All American in Deron Holmes that plays the four, mm-hmm. but that's it. And uh, they were they were red hot. I think they got as high as like 16th in the country, and they've just lost every quality game they've played. Like they lost to Loyola Chicago. They got bumped early in the A10 tournament. Nevada. Here's the thing about the Mountain West: they got six teams in this thing. That's a really good league, and they they played really well in it. I like Nevada. I like Nevada as well. I was gonna say Nevada, but since y'all did, I'll go ahead and write it in. Scotty, it doesn't matter what you say. Um, Trumpet. <laughs> and then finally, Arizona Long Beach. Let's go Arizona here. I think Zona's gonna do. They it. will be the fired coach. Mm. Arizona, all the way. Mm-hmm. All right. So coming back up to it, we have UNC going up against Mississippi State. UNC by 27. Give me all. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a problem there. Then you got St. Mary's and Bama. St. Mary's. Yeah. St. Mary's. I think St. Mary's, man. I think St. Mary's. Bama doesn't know how to win in the tournament, the as we know. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like all it's going to take is them having a bad offensive, like bad shooting night, and they're cooked. And there's a good chance that they're facing Charleston also. I mean, we, we should acknowledge that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, One of those, like, you know. Man. Clemson and Baylor. Give me Baylor. I like Baylor here. I like Baylor. Hey, I, I have watched Baylor a few times, and I do actually. The Bears are good. Who the hell is Clemson's coach? Brownell. It is Brad Brownell. It's been forever. He's been avoiding the hot seat for like a decade. I like Baylor here. So, I mean, like Baylor. I think we're good on like everyone's Baylor. Okay. You think Curtis you like Baylor? I think Clemson beats them, but oh, know. so well, we're not unanimous. Right? Yeah, that's not enough for me to trump it. Well, but I haven't given my vote. John hasn't given his vote. Ah. yet. Mm. okay. All right. Well, chat. Pick the winner. Yeah, because I, I, dude, I'm, I'm thinking Clemson. Clemson, Baylor. We need a winner. Yep. As I fix our camera thing now, so it's like we're not doing this. Anymore. Could be, could be a pretty high-scoring game. Clemson Baylor, Clemson Baylor, Clemson Baylor. Who y'all got? Great camera work, dude. I know. This is we're professional business. Can you go to the free throw line? May I have to. Ooh. I don't think Curtis actually thinks Clemson's going to win this game. I think he's just messing with us. I could see that. Who votes for Baylor already? Okay, Baylor it is. Baylor it is. Baylor it is. Apparently, no. Okay. Can't do that. All right, and then finally, or at least for the Sweet Sixteen matchups, Nevada and Arizona. Arizona easy. Zona, we going Zona? Yeah. Scotty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and name a single player on Arizona or on uh, Nevada's roster. I can't either, but for other reasons. All right, so there is that. Now let's we go over here. here. Oh, wait, we still got to keep going. Yeah, we still got to keep going. Now we got Onk and St. Mary's. Yeah. Uh, St. Mary's, the trip ends here. Well, is it really? Yeah. They're, they're not All right. Yeah. Well, let's see. Everybody's going Onk. This is going to be a, a, one of the biggest Sweet 16 aspects we've right. ever seen. Baylor and Zona. <laughs> Baylor, Zona. Uh, I lean very slightly Arizona. Now, where's this game being played at? I wish it was written. I wish the fat head that we ordered would have uh, had it on. It should there. be in Salt Lake. Okay. Yeah, you mean, so it doesn't really favor you. <laughs> yeah, I like Arizona. Well, I know. I mean, yeah, I like Arizona especially mm-hmm. because it's going to be, you know, pretty much their backyard. Arizona has uh, two guys on that roster who played national title games. That helps. So is everyone going Zona? I like Zona there. Zona. Zona it is. And oh, then, they're really good to get popped for no reason. And now we got but, the trip to the final four on the line between Unk and Zona. I like Unk. I like Unk. What you think? 
Arizona. Okay. Scotty? I don't think I trust North Carolina that much. So? All right, chat. All right, chat. Chat. Actually, I want to use a Trump on North Carolina here. Are you really? Yeah, I do want to use it. No, no, no. They just lost to NC State. Let me look at on the board. Yeah, let's say. We will talk about look at the board. But let me, let me huh. hold on one second. Let me make sure there's no other Trumps I might want to use. There's one vote in North Carolina. <clears throat> if the chat doesn't pick North Carolina, I will Trump. But give it to the chat. Who or UNC? Okay. Okay. I'm saying. You all be wrong. Unk. Unk to the final four. I just I don't know that I trust North Carolina that much. Okay. So now. We're going to go with up here. Houston. Houston and Longwood. As much as everyone wants to see Longwood. Uh, more like Shortwood to me. I'm going Houston. <laughs> I think that's not going to be a... Thank you, Scotty. So if you want to hold it by the handle that's right there, it makes it a little easier. Um, so, yeah, we'll go Houston here. That was the camera work. Yeah, no, it's like... You're good. You're good. It's fine. Nebraska. Yeah, Nebraska. Yeah, Nebraska. Yeah, Nebraska. The fighting Hoybergs. Kase Tomonaga. Going to put it Home on. Home for them. dinner. Sure. All right, so uh, James, Madison. James Madison, Wisconsin. I think though. we're unanimous on James Madison. Yes. J M U, Duke and Vermont. Duke. Okay. I'm gonna, it's good. It's gonna be Duke. It's gonna be a good game. It's gonna, yeah, I, was, I do like Duke, though. but it is gonna be. It's gonna be a, sneak, a squeaker. Yeah, give me Duke. Dukes versus Dukes in the second round. I'm, I'm, thinking about getting weird. I'm getting my Trump. Yeah. Oh, wow. Trumped it. Yes. Trumped it for Trump. Vermont. James Madison, the Sweet 16. Because John best. Shire and Phil Palski are a bunch of, you know what, for all that. that stuff. I'm using my Trump. The Dukies go down to hey, you the should Catamount. Like, think about it, like right there, the John yeah. versus Trump, right? Can here. I Trump? Yeah. Can I Trump put a big, John's Trump? Here, I'll put it in a different color just to signify J for. <laughs> all right, am I allowed to Trump, John Trump? Though? Oh, <laughs> see now we're now we're getting crazy. <laughs> no. Okay. Ah, I didn't want to use it on the, the board. Trump. Is voted. All right. Texas Tech, NC State. I uh, I actually do think I like NC State here. NC State? I do also. Awesome. Yeah. Y'all wouldn't let me pick New Mexico, so I'm picking the different 11 seed. I do like NC State. DJ. All right. Boy, well, we got a lot of upsets over here, man. Kentucky, yeah. Oakland, any upset here? I'll give Oakland. I mean, Kentucky, but not here. I mean, just yeah. Kentucky. Just, 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 just go. All right. Uh, I guess we got to pick yeah, their play-in game. I got to pick This is Boise State, Oklahoma, or uh, Colorado, I, think I believe. Yeah, it is that one. Is so, it Colorado or Colorado or Colorado State? It's Colorado State, Colorado, sorry. Yes. Yeah. Wait. That, no, 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 no. It is straight. It's Colorado. It is Colorado. Yeah, Colorado yeah, State. Okay. Colorado State. That's right. Okay. I have Colorado winning a game and I have Colorado beating Florida. Personally. Oh man. Personally. All right, Colorado. I'm okay with it because Florida sucks. So and everyone's good with Colorado here? <laughs> I'm good with it. I'm not gonna veto the boys. All right. I mean Florida was playing so well, but losing Yeah, that losing that today old boy. And then what's going yeah. on with something with uh Rally Kugel. Yeah, you playing. Not playing. Yeah. Mm. It's tough. Dude. All right. Marquette and Western Kentucky. Can the Hilltoppers no. upset Shaka? No. No. Shock the world. No. No. All right. <laughs> it's They're not going to shock a single thing. All right. Marquette is there. So going back up here to Houston and Nebraska. The battle of the really red teams. I'm going to Houston. Houston? That might be a boat <laughs> race. Someone was really mad that we didn't pick Wisconsin. <laughs> they didn't yeah. like it. Sorry, the other yeah, Wisconsin fans aren't mentioned. So Houston. <laughs> it's like, please, Wisconsin. Yeah, I mean, but that's also another one of those where it's like, oh, everybody's going to pick that upset. Yeah. It doesn't happen. So AJ Storr's a bad man. So. Houston. I'm Houston. I think Houston. Houston. Yeah. yeah. All right. I like JMU. Right. JMU. 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 That's it. Assuming that my my uh, well, honestly, pick's right here. I wouldn't hate JMU against Duke if I'm being 100% honest. I will say the uh, clock strikes midnight on their Cinderella change. story. I got JMU. I like JMU yeah. too. Yeah. JMU. Yeah. JMU to the yes. Sweet 16. All right. NC State, Kentucky. I got Kentucky here. I think uh, I think Kentucky, yeah. if, especially if it's NC State for real, I think Kentucky's guards just put on a clinic against those boys. But I don't Curtis? know. NC State's been playing well, man. But no, I'm actually, gonna... actually, Curtis, I'm sorry. I'm going with Kentucky. I, was, I know you're thinking about it. Unless you want to use your Trump. For Kentucky. Well, I don't know why I mean, did UK. Realistically, though, how often does it happen where you have the team like get hot and win their conference tournament, and then they just keep rolling and go to the Elite Eight? Just UConn, Kimba, Kimba's UConn. Yeah. Like, all the but that's 
That's you think you think you think uh, NC State? Do you think that fat boy is the DJ, fat you? Uh, Kim DJ, DJ, just, DJ Burns just, is a Kimba candidate. <laughs> should we go back to the ACC tournament and talk about the last three teams they beat? No, Ooh. but that's what I'm saying. Is like I feel like the team that does that rarely puts it together and goes on a big run in March. Yeah. You know. Like, I remember Vanderbilt did it in the SEC tournament a few years – not a few, it was like 10 years ago. But yeah. they, like, beat Auburn and Kentucky and somebody else, and then they just – I what think what we're thinking. overlooking here is that Kentucky's just not very good. They can't stop anybody. No, they really They'll can't. They'll win that game. Yeah, they'll be good. All right. Okay. So, to so your point, the first reference we have is 2010. That's what I'm saying. Like, Kimbo was 15 yeah. years ago. That's a decade and a half ago. Marquette, Colorado. Marquette continues on to the two seed, or yeah, is Colorado – they, they weren't in a – they were like a – Higher seed than that, right? I can't even remember. Like, it's not like UConn came out of nowhere. But anyways, I like Marquette here, though. Does anybody want to veto? <laughs> yes, but I don't want to use my trump on it. No, I got Marquette, so it's up to you, Curtis and Scotty. Well, I guess Curtis is going Colorado, so Scotty. I mean, they've already got one of their key players out for the year, and their All-American point guard has a corner of the league. So it's... I, it doesn't matter because they're going to lose the next game. I was going to say, I have Kentucky beat either of these teams. <laughs> I really I really do. Uh, give me Colorado. Well, I'm going to have to go to the chat then. So you had Colorado as well, mm -hmm. Curtis? So yeah, chat. Marquette, Marquette versus Colorado. We'll take it. Yep. We go for uh, Boulder and Chicago. If Kolick was healthy, I'd have Marquette 100%. Yeah. yeah. We got a uh, vote for Marquette. All right, we need at least two, the first two votes. We got two Marquettes. All right, so Marquette it is. All right, so <clears throat> now we are moving on into the Elite Eight game. Houston, yeah. JMU. Houston, Houston. Houston, okay, yeah, I think we're all there. Kentucky. That might be a historic point difference. Is everybody going Kentucky? I like Kentucky there, yeah. and I like Houston. We don't want Kentucky to go far, but I agree with you all. All right, and then Houston over Kentucky? Yeah, I like Houston there for sure. Dude, look at the three out of the four final four spots. It's just chalk. Yeah, that's, all right. Yeah. That's what happens. Okay, so we come over here, go to uh, – first off, I guess we got to pick the uh, Montana State Grambling game. I got, I got Grambling. Those are the boys. Sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Gram – ah, if I can spell the Green Bay, The Green Bay Grambling Tigers. All right. Grambling. Is it is it Grambling or Grambling State these days? Again, it I mean, used I don't to know. be Grambling State. It's just Grambling now. All right, we'll keep it there then. All right, so does Purdue get upset twice in a row by 16 seed? Grambling. All right, it's not serious. But they're but they're the dudes. Uh, <laughs> Utah State and TCU. Utah, Utah State. Yeah, I like I like the Aggies. All right. <clears throat> don't these Aggies? The only Aggies. The only Aggies that matter. The only Aggies I acknowledge. I, I already know where we're going here. Right. Yeah, that's all I, I don't even need to ask. Easy McNeese one. State over Gonzaga. Go ahead and put McNeese in the next round as well. Agreed. <laughs> and don't put State here. Um, no, I, I'm sticking with just the McNeese. I wanted just to put in uh, Will Wade and not put in <laughs> McNeese at all. Uh, Kansas and Samford. I think Samford's going to be a trendy pick. I'm taking Kansas. I still in this. think Kansas, but boy, yeah. boy, boy, boy. Yeah. A core, I thought core. Kansas will be like a seven seed. No, no, no lot. Like Sanford's best player is on our portal big board. If he comes available, look out. All right. Oregon, South Carolina, or South Carolina, Oregon. I'm taking Oregon in this. Just being South honest. Carolina. I'm taking South I think, I think South Carolina, they right. advance, but I think they, they lose right away. All right. So my Trump has been used. Uh, Creighton and Akron. Creighton. We'll go Creighton here. Okay. The, the uh, Blue Jays, is that what they're on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The former Dane Holmans. The McBuckets. All right, so then the other 10 matchup is Virginia-Colorado State. Colorado State is who I like in that game. Colorado yeah. State. Mm -hmm. Go CSU. I'm saying Virginia, but I like Colorado State. Curtis, you now have, you can tie Colorado it. State. All right, Colorado State. Is Virginia, it. hashtag not built for March. All right, Texas-Colorado State. <laughs> <laughs> Colorado State for me. Texas. I'm taking Texas. Give me Colorado State. Chat. Chat. All right. Are we, oh, are we two and two here? Yeah. yeah. You know where it's going. You know they're Colorado all going to pick Colorado State. State. Chat. Be right Colorado State. I'm about to say they're all going to pick Colorado <laughs> State. They ain't going to pick Texas. This is thrilling. 
Yeah, this is this, this listen. This is high level content. You don't get this anywhere else. No one else is picking games right oh, now. Let's see. Well, we got to vote for Texas. Texas, Texas. Yes. Oh, Texas? Two to one. Texas. Wow. With zero backbone. I love that. <laughs> With no regard for human life. Sympathizers. Dude. All right. So to St. Peter's. No, no, no. Did I see that I run them out of the building? Yeah. Tennessee's coming out of this. I, I will say, if, right if Tennessee had won the SEC tournament, I would feel better about St. Peter's. But they didn't. No, so. yeah, yeah. Um, Purdue, Utah State might be the most boring teams to ever exist. In a, I like I like Purdue. I mean, Purdue. Yeah, Zach Eady revenge tour. Um, McNeese and Kansas. McNeese. I'm going McNeese here. Scotty. <laughs> I think Kansas is going to win that game. I think Kansas is too. Trump it. So chat. I mean, we would say are you Trump it. <laughs> All right, Curtis. Curtis used his Trump. <laughs> He's giving it to McNeese. And I got to get the other little magic marker out here and make sure that I put a C next to it. I have a strong-ass feeling about McNeese here. There you go. All right. South Carolina and Creighton. Creighton. I like Creighton by a, by a decent margin here. I like Creighton as well. I'm going to trump it. Do it, it. Scotty. Are you yes, ready? I do it. Trumping for South Carolina? I, I want you to give me one reason why. Yeah. Because I know what you're going to say. Uh, Talon Cooper. That's not what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Murray Boyle? That's what I thought you were going to say. All right. Everyone has used their Trump except for Andrew. Yeah. He's saving it for a rainy day. Love Texas. It. Texas and Tennessee. I, dude, this one's going to be a, hopefully a good game. I like game. Tennessee here. Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah, I think Tennessee. So, it, like, I'm well, say, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, like, it's going to be a great game, but we all go Tennessee. Um, Purdue and Will Wade. Purdue here. Purdue. Purdue. Yeah. This, yeah. The all right. No more funny business. Yeah. Yeah, because Will Wade is uh, taking another job after that. Tennessee, South Carolina. Well, SEC rematch of a game that they played each other. But yeah, I do too. They did just beat South Carolina in South Carolina, right? Yeah, they did. did. I, I, I believe. It looks gross to me. It's it's pretty bad. Purdue, give me, Tennessee. Give me Tennessee. I like Tennessee as well. Yeah, we have to. We can't go. Yeah, full. I didn't want to. I can't go full. Um, Tennessee. Geez, man. I'm going to write. They even deserve to get their full name written out this time. Oh, well, no. Yeah. Okay. Dalton Connects could get on. And so our final four is really crazy, guys. UConn, UConn, UNC, Tennessee, Houston. Starting with UConn, UNC. Who we got? UConn. UConn. Yeah. Hey, am I allowed to retroactively Trump? Because I don't think I have a Trump. We can let you here. retroactively. Yeah, I will find a matchup because there were okay. a few that y'all shot me down on that I didn't. Okay. Have. We will. So we'll everyone's right. got yeah. UConn now. You're gonna scout. <laughs> Put a scout for mine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Houston, Tennessee. Houston. I like Houston Such as well. Tennessee. Tennessee. Tennessee is not. I just don't trust Tennessee to win that many games no. in a row. I just thought Houston get thirty piece. But you just saw Tennessee get blown out by Mississippi State too. You sticking with Tennessee. Yeah, sticking with y'all, y'all put a lot of stock in conference tournaments. It seems. God damn, man. Everything y'all are like. Oh, we lost our conference tournament though. Bro, get big mad over here. Ah, <laughs> oh, sheesh. Um. Wait, what's our tally on Houston, Tennessee? Oh, I've got Houston. Like Houston. You guys, and you, Curtis likes Tennessee. So and I'm trying to, want? I'm trying to decide because I, like, he's got on the front real quick. I tell you, I'm gonna do. Name me two players off Houston's team. I can't. Exactly. No clue. But that's usually when it's like I do my best work is when I don't know things. Um. Oh uh, yeah, give me it's Houston, just, man. Just give me Houston. Just because it's like a, it, just because it's Barnes, man. Barnes just. I don't know, man. He just can't do it. Doesn't matter. All right. The biggest misconception ever is that individual players win in March. So we have your retroactive Trump should be getting Tennessee the hell out. (laughs) No, I think it might have to be. Okay. Well, we'll we'll, have them losing to uh, (laughs) have them have them losing over here to St. Peter's. I wanted to save my Trump for Creighton to win that game because I was going to have him beat Tennessee. Could I could I Trump uh, Scotty's Trump? No, no, you can't no. trump other people's Trump. Dude, we can't trump using Trump. a Trump on South Carolina is gross behavior. I gotta be honest. That is very nasty. nasty though. Though. That's the surprise team of the season. They dude. are sure, nasty. but like, ooh. So if let me let me see out my All right. I think this is just one of those regions that no matter how it shakes out, it's just it's, it's, just, it's yeah. Man. No, it's yeah. not. It's not. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. Well, while you're still doing that, we'll yeah, just go ahead and say champion. UConn Houston national championship game. Who's your national champion? UConn. I'll, I'll roll with UConn here. Back to back, huh? We're going back to back. First, first team to do. 97. I believe in UConn. Since Duke in, in the early 90s, right? First team to go back to back. 
I think so, yeah, because Arkansas almost did in the mid-90s. And I believe that's the only team. Before I go back to back? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, can't forget. Yeah, so they were the last ones. All right, so we have officially, as the Natty Faith Sports, uh, you want to do a final score? So that way we can you know, have a tiebreaker? Um, or maybe we should do the spread. That would make it even more fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're doing a tiebreaker. 77-72. Uh, <laughs> Not quite Arkansas Duke. 77-72. If you if you found score 77. All right. All right, Andrew. Now you that no, our was, brain's been filled, but you have your Trump. Yes, yeah, so no, this, yeah, this could change the entire Trump. thing. Because because we might have just restart right here. <laughs> yes. Just erase the whole thing. No, you gotta just you might have to do something crazy. The one I considered using. I might have to there? Trump BYU yeah, yeah, Illinois right. and have Illinois or BYU gotcha. going, but that hasn't caused enough chaos. So I feel like I gotta use it. I thought about, I thought about doing that. Should I get Tennessee up out of there? I mean, I mean, I, I, I would not. Yeah, I'm about to say I would not be against. I think Rodney Terry is like a, the the 63rd best coach in this tournament. Here's so I thing. don't want to pick him to beat Tennessee. If we get Tennessee out of there, and Purdue probably goes in. We got four one seeds, and we look like. Look yeah, but four one seeds is low key. That happens. That not very often. Years. Let me think. Yeah, it's like we presidents. Who could get Houston out? Mm-hmm. We could get Houston out of there. Can you say Tillman Dogger going to take them out? It's Kentucky. Thing, man. Kentucky can take them out. Kentucky. It might, it might would have to be Kentucky. This Kentucky team going to the national title game would actually be pretty funny. I and mean, that's the kind of thing that could give Houston problems. Yeah, but then we have Kentucky. Y'all remember that lefty Kentucky guy? Four? That number one that shoots the ball? That Kentucky love him. Yeah, That's entered the portal already. <laughs> Getting an eraser. <laughs> All right. So what are we Kentucky's looking at? Kentucky's good. Like, think about it. We want a Kentucky Tennessee. That sounds we awful. Get, I, I might have to get three or four Trumps, man. Yeah. The problem is with Tennessee, I just can't see which team would beat them other than Purdue. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing. I know. I feel the same way. South Carolina beat them on their home floor. But then they beat South Carolina on South Carolina's home. So like four months ago. <laughs> uh, Chat, help me with my Trump. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, hold on. I'm going to make a decision here. I have Kentucky beating Houston. Kentucky, that, that's your final answer. Going Kentucky's beating Houston. All right. But now we have to decide if Kentucky's beating Tennessee. Yeah, oh yeah. We're I gonna, believe they will. We're going to redo this. Oh, we'll probably erase the wrong. Oh, yeah. That's okay. <laughs> so. But now we got to restart everything because we got a different score of the final. <laughs> you know. All right. So we got it to where now Kentucky beats Houston. Yes. They also will beat Tennessee. I'm just going to go and tell you all that, right? Two SEC teams in the final four, huh? So. Yeah. Yikes, that is tough. So you're are we going you Kentucky over Tennessee? Me, Andrellis, I am. But I, I understand the boys. Tennessee's a better team than Kentucky. They are. But Rick Barnes and March. They've Kentucky, already made it. Kentucky did just beat the hell out of I mean, we want to be in a four pack game. What if they change? beat Tennessee? Kentucky can't guard anybody they for can't. to save their life. And they got Dalton Connect over what if here. I so it's like Well, what are you gonna change? Well, I'd have Creighton beating South Carolina. Okay. You're gonna trump yourself. Yeah, I'd say because we voted for we voted for Creighton. You're the low man, so you're Trump. Well, you put your Trump anyway. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. So is that a final answer here? This is getting chaotic. Yeah. But I love it. If you feel it. This is it's madness. Your soul. Yeah. I did. I, I, you're in retrospect, I don't think South Carolina is worthy of a Trump. All right. Cool. We go Creighton. I don't know what led to you making that correct decision. I didn't, didn't, you didn't, didn't feel good about it. Yeah, I was kind of bummed that that was your, uh, your Trump. Give me so get the Blue Jays. Now, get, yeah, Creighton over Tennessee helps. So now? Yeah, get Tennessee yeah. up out of there. That boy, they're going to the final four. I feel a little better now. <laughs> okay. Now, Creighton Purdue. But now, Scotty gets to Trump. He gets to. Yeah, yeah he gets yeah, to. Yeah, go ahead. Now, yeah, start scouting after you Trump. You can do whatever you want. You can make it weird. Yeah. I know what I'd do if I had to do all over again. Yeah, I want to just start from scratch. We just got to at least start. 
Well, because we each fill out our own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is just our voting system of our we, yeah, we, law. It would be, be depressing for us to come into the office here every day and just look at two SEC teams up there and you yeah. know, four one or well, four one seeds, whatever it is. It just just No, I'm keeping them up there, uh, just uh, changing the score part. So Okay. All um, right. So UK so Scotty, or yeah, uh, so Purdue or Crazy. We'll wait until Scotty puts his trump because that could change just everything. Mm. No, I like Purdue. Okay. You like Purdue over Creighton? Okay, and Purdue, UK. Now, now we now we have the vote as a team. Yeah. Um, I still like Kentucky. I may like Purdue. And I think uh, Edie foul trouble. Dillingham goes for thirty six. Which I think. I'm picking Purdue. So we got two Purdues and one Kentucky. I'm going Kentucky because I think Purdue's going to be Wow. Okay. So Kentucky. Kentucky, Yukon, every uh, wet dream Chat. of uh, college Time basketball purist. So. Or wait, did we? Was that tied or did Kentucky win the vote? No, it's 2 2 right now. Oh, okay. My bad. I thought it was already won by uh, Kentucky there. Purdue or Kentucky? Oh, for anybody that's actually still Kentucky. watching. We got one for. My boy Horatio says Kentucky. Brad Moe says Kentucky. Right. The Cats are in the are in the are in the title game, and UConn's gonna beat. Yeah, but they own that. So it is Kentucky, right? Yes. Yeah. Kentucky. This has got to be a double digit win. All right. So like 80, 86, 72? Yeah, a lot of oh yeah, a lot of scoring, <laughs> a lot of scoring. And UConn, all right. UConn. And That's Scotty, did you use your Trump yet? You haven't yet, right? Oh yeah, you get to. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're still going. Yeah, he might, he might just be like, <laughs> over UConn. Let's go. <laughs> all right, so we got Purdue, Kentucky, Purdue, Kentucky, 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 Okay. I don't mind that. But does that does that is that the make one? you think about Auburn Yukon? It makes me think about Auburn Yukon. Oh okay. wow. Okay, geez. But I don't know that I'm that sold on Auburn. I do like them a lot. I don't think I like them that much. Auburn so gets that's, that's no. Again, that whole thing we were talking about SEC yeah. tournament champions, man. They pretty just, much they forfeited a, a, the deep march around yeah. winning these last few days. And look at winning as well as they did. I mean, they look great. I respect your decision, though, no matter what you do. Everything that... Tolu Smith over UNC. Caleb Love over UNC. Josh Hubbard over UNC. Cam Matthews over UNC. Well, we got... Cam Matthews and people later... I'm not as high on UNC, I think, as everybody. No, I think I'm the only one who likes them, honestly. I mean, they're really good. It's not that I like UNC, I just don't like that... Bracket is just not yeah. good. Like, like St. Mary getting St. Mary's yeah. in the Sweet 16. Same with Arizona. Like, I, I don't feel great about Arizona, to be honest, but. Give me, uh, give me Mississippi State to beat UNC. Okay. Oh, my okay. gosh. Okay. Yes. So now. Yeah, so he raised a lot of names. He raised a lot yep. of names. So we, uh, <laughs> good thing okay. this is a dry yeah. erase board. So we got, um, we got, we got Jans going all right, for so, a while. Right? Yeah. So Mississippi State. Yes. With the major upset of North Carolina, yeah, which makes it now Maine, Mississippi Maine State and St. Mary's. I got Miss Saint right here. I got if I'm Maine, choosing them. I got St. Mary's. Okay, so we're one to one here. Um, Two for the dogs. We need more dogs. I think I like St. Mary's. I, I know, I know. <laughs> we got St. Mary's, Mississippi State. Chat. Saint Mary's Mississippi State. What we think? Take off your SEC guys. Yeah, don't don't start the chant. You know, it just means Somebody more here, boys. Hands. That's a vote. We get first two votes of whoever it is. So we got We're one from Mississippi State. Shoulders right now. Yep. This is what it's all about. 
There it is. All right. That's it. All right. Mississippi State. Just as we all predicted, Mississippi State so going to go the Elite Eight. State versus Arizona. 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 Arizona still the. We'll go ahead and give them that. Yeah, thank hey, you. But that helps us. I could not handle Mississippi State being in a final See, four. See, now we got some. Our trumps have come into play here because now we don't have it all, Chuck. We got a couple yeah. twos, a couple or a, a two. I'm just glad my Duke won. Like literally, probably ruined a lot of this. Yeah. Like because you know. Yeah, but I wasn't gonna have Duke going crazy for. Okay, so uh, got it. I got to write in Scotty's um, it's Trump here and for Mississippi State. Yeah. I mean, if you can, if North Carolina can lose to an NC State team on yeah. what? Andrew, which one was yours? My Trump was. Was it Kentucky? Yeah, yeah. Kentucky, Kentucky over somebody. Houston. Yes, that's what it was. Kentucky. All right. All right. All right, boys. Folks, that's is, a bracket. Is that it sounds it looks like a winner to me? That's it. We're more indecisive than Dalton Motorsports' his imaginary girlfriend. Thanks, man. Oh, come on. Well, hey. Here's the thing. It's, I can't, it's, I can't it's figure the NCAA out whether or not we're more, more decisive. It's the NCAA tournament. There's nothing around it. So. more people not having the exact same opinion on everything. I know, right? Shit. I, I, yeah. I know. Especially for, well, you know, guys like us who are really sharp and we really think these things through a lot. Yeah. You're bound to come up with some disagreements when you get four heavyweight champs in here. So we lock it in, boys. We locking it in. We have it's UConn locked. wins the national championship over Kentucky by double digits, according to Natty State. UConn Sports. beat Kentucky in the national title with uh, Shabazz Napier. He beat the, the Harrison Twins. That's right. And the, in Kentucky made a little bit of an. Julius run. Randall was on that team, right? Yeah, the freshman. Yeah, that was the year the Arkansas beat that Kentucky team twice. Yeah. So, yeah. So suck on that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mississippi State to the Elite Eight. Hail Ew. State to the Elite Eight. Now, and I'll hate that, too, because that means that another team not named Arkansas made to the it Sweet Six or Elite Eight. Right. Hey, Arkansas thank God, God we didn't have Tennessee in the Final Four. We were, we were teetering on the brink. We were, we were, we were flirting with it. We had Rick Barnes. We were flirting like, with it. Make the Final Four. Like, what the hell? Yeah, I know. We should, yeah, we, we got we to gotta be smart. We gotta you be smart really about this. I can't wait for UConn to lose like FAU in the second round. It's now, now what needs to happen before we get off of here is all four of us need to give our personal final four. Can mm -hmm. we just take a pick of our bracket? We fill it out and post it. I think I'm gonna have to wait. Dude, for that's it. what everybody does. That, and everyone loves seeing those two. They love yeah. seeing everyone post their bracket. Be sure you tweet out your bracket. Everybody loves it. Yep. Uh, and text your buddies Let's in your group message whenever your the upset you picked wins. Be sure to text like all of your buddies. About it. And then if you get it, balance bracket challenge or just a whole organization. You know, people also love. We're doing a whole organization. Twenty five brackets and then brags about one of his bracket number nineteen. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> do that too. That's yes. Good. Yeah. I do one bracket. That's all. I don't know if anybody. Else. I do one bracket. So this is not my one bracket. I didn't build one out last year. Man. I don't think. Yeah, but uh, no, we're going to create a Natty State Sports uh, tournament challenge, NCAA tournament bracket challenge thing or whatever you know what, what all the people do and we'll figure out what we're going to give you for it if you win probably nothing actually i'm kidding we'll give you some we'll figure it out um so yeah the road ends here it's like this con winning it all again we'll see you like like the stream in here yeah and then danny hurl is going to take the phoenix sun show all right we'll see y'all later appreciate you watching the stream uh arkansas's not in it sorry